So we're on a few days after the birth of my son. He was born November 22nd. And, um, you know, just a speechless experience. I, I am, it's a miracle. You know, it, it's just a miracle from God. And um, one thing that I want to do to encourage you today is one word push. <laughs> you can imagine where I get this title from, right? But, uh, you know, I was there with my wife and saw, um, you know, it's uh, it, it's painful going through a birth, at least I can, I observed and it's, uh, and I heard. But um, one thing that's important in the birthing process is to push. So, um, and to push at the right time. Uh, there's actually timing with pushing. So um, you have a dream inside of you and a vision uh, of something happening in your life. And you that dream is like a child that you are nurturing and developing inside of you. And when it's time, and you'll know it's time because you're going to feel this thing called contractions, right? And that's one thing I want to talk to you about today. But when it's time, you need to push. You need to push. So let's talk about contractions a little bit. Contractions are that, uh, let's just say that feeling that your body is giving you that is letting you know that it's time. And uh, the contractions get stronger and stronger the closer the baby gets to being born. So um, that's what brings a lot of pain. Um, so in the contractions, though, it was interesting. I heard... Um, the nurses, the midwives tell my wife, uh, next time a contraction comes when, you know, it was getting very close to the time of the birth, um, they said to push, push when the contraction comes. So it's almost uh, counterintuitive because when the contraction comes, it's just painful. So you just want to scream, you know, or something. But instead they said, use the contraction and, um, push. And instead of screaming, Hold your breath and use that contraction to push out your baby, okay? Hope you're getting the analogy here because there is a time that you need to push. And the interesting thing about your body, if you're a woman, like if you're, your body is, it's, it's like made to do all these things that's helping you bring your baby uh, out into reality, right? But there is a part that you have to do that if you don't do that part, things could be bad. So it's very interesting, right? Um, it doesn't just happen just automatically. And it's the same thing in life. Like uh, you have a dream and it is, there's a lot of, the whole world is conspiring to help you with that dream to coming into fruition. But you also have a part. Your part, is, you have to know it's like a dance, right? Uh, for example, you have to know when you do your part. Now, you don't do your part when in between contractions, right? In between contractions, you don't push. That's not a time to push. Uh, there's a natural time. And when you see that time and feel that time, you need to push, right? So it's up to you in your life. Um, get the right people around you. Um, stay really uh, positive, overflowing, prayerful, all these things so that you can be um, you can be intuitive and know when it's your time to push, right? And know when it's your time to be still and just rest. So, <laughs> the contractions are amazing because it, it it's like it's like life, right? Uh, you don't want to push in a time of rest. You need to rest. Because when that contraction comes next time, you have to have enough energy and everything to push, right? To push that dream out, that vision out, everything out. It's just like a contraction or a contraction is just like a wave. Now, I've never surfed before, but I know enough to know that you can either um, learn and let your surf guide you, glide you in that wave, or you could just let that wave crash you and boom, you know, <laughs> you just take you out. But what you need to do is use the wave and ride the wave and let it take you to where you need to go. And it's the same thing with the contraction uh, my wife and I were talking about. Use that contraction to ride, let it ride, right? Ride that to where you need to go. And it's the same thing with your life. 
Use those things you thought were disappointments. Use those things you thought were misunderstandings or whatever they were and use those things, ride them, okay? And let them take you to where you need something, a better place where you're going, okay? Because there's a better place that you're going that if you stay calm, stay peaceful, stay prayerful, stay still at the right time and let that, uh, that moment, that time guide you to where you need to be, it's going to take you exactly where you have to go, okay? You have a dream. God's helping you with that dream. The whole universe, the world, everything is conspiring. God is commanding those things to conspire to help you. That's where that scripture comes in it that says, all things work for good of those who love God, right? Who have the love of God inside of them. So, and that's you. OK, so I want to encourage you to let those things just ride the wave. push, though, when it's time to push, because anybody can rest. Right. Uh, and take it easy. But you also have to know when it's time to push and then you need to push. What do I mean by push? Well, make some things happen when it's time to make some things happen. See the opportunity and seize the opportunity when it's time. OK, and just use wisdom because um, you don't want to try and see something that's going to sabotage things. That's why you need to know you need to rest, too, at the same time. OK, so I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to really push because in life you need to push. And when you do, great things are going to happen. Ride the wave. OK, get really uh, competent, wonderful loving people around you, like my wife had great midwives, great nurses around her who helped her birth that child. And uh, don't worry about any missed opportunities. Another contraction is coming, right? And when it's coming, you need to use it, okay? So that's one, that's one I'm going to take that myself. That was good. So if you miss, you felt like you missed on something, don't worry, another one's coming. And when it's coming, push, right? Push and you're going to and your dream is going to come to pass for sure. All right? Your dream, it's yours, all right? It's yours. Be confident, be strong about that, okay? It's no one else's, it's your baby. It's going to be born, and all these people are helping you birth your child. All right? So just remember that. It's not theirs, it's yours. So um, that's a beautiful thing because they don't have that responsibility. But actually, it's another important thing for you to know because you have to take on the responsibility of what do I need to do to birth this thing? Ride the wave. The waves are coming. And with every wave, learn to ride them better and better and better. Learn to take advantage in a positive, great way, better and better and better. And you're going to see your dreams come to fruition now. Um, I just, you know, it's a celebration time. We just hit Thanksgiving. So that's a thing. That I, I mean, that's something I'm very thankful for. So I just want to say I'm thankful for you. Thankful to God and just thankful for, for my family. And uh, just want to wish you a great day. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye.